This diagram illustrates a simplified view of the female reproductive system, specifically focusing on the internal organs. Here's an explanation of the labeled parts. Uterus. This is a hollow, pear-shaped muscular organ located in the female pelvis, between the bladder and the rectum. Its primary function is to nurture the developing fetus during pregnancy. Fundus of uterus. This is the top, rounded portion of the uterus, opposite from the opening to the vagina. Fallopian tube. Also known as oviduct, there are two fallopian tubes one extending from each side of the upper part of the uterus. These tubes serve as a pathway for the egg to travel from the ovary to the uterus. Fertilization often occurs within the fallopian tube. Ovary. These are two small, oval-shaped glands located on either side of the uterus. The ovaries produce and release eggs, ova, and also produce female hormones like estrogen and progesterone. Myometrium. This is the thick, muscular middle layer of the uterine wall. It's composed of smooth muscle tissue and is responsible for uterine contractions during labor and menstruation. Cervix. This is the lower, narrow part of the uterus that forms a canal connecting the uterus to the vagina. It acts as a gateway, allowing sperm to enter the uterus and menstrual blood to exit. During childbirth, the cervix dilates to allow the baby to pass through. Cervical canal. This is the passage through the cervix that connects the uterine cavity to the vagina. Vagina. This is a muscular, elastic tube that connects the uterus to the outside of the body. It serves as the birth canal, the passageway for menstrual flow, and receives the penis during sexual intercourse. In summary, this diagram provides a clear anatomical overview of the key internal organs involved in female reproduction illustrating their relative positions and connections.